Good evening, everyone. My name is Seath Askins, Code Prime, and we are back in Lumber Tycoon 2, and I have my autofocus off. My autofocus off, so it doesn't autofocus my face anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, uh, last we left off, I was able to do, uh, I was able to see mod um, sawmill in action. And I want to make one. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to head over to the shop, pick up two of the um, large uh, sawmills, the X, uh, the L, L uh, sawmill, sawmax 2L, L2, whatever they're called. And um, I will, oh gosh, hold on, Blink. there we go. <clears throat> I also realized I didn't pick up any presents on my first base. <laughs> Normally, that's like the first thing I do is uh, I come into the, the first base and I do that. Um, by the way, thank you for all the comments and um, likes inside the last video. You guys are amazing. You are awesome. I love you. And here we go. Um, do, 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 only got 5,000 or 5 million on this one. I don't know how I'll ever be able to afford this. What are you talking about, Code? Your sawmills are so expensive. Aren't they like three billion a piece? No. What? I'm just, I'm just playing, Tom. It's, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> Code, you're so funny. Uh, I know. I, I try. Went to buy this saw max two zero two L for eighty six thousand five hundred. Yes, yes, I do. Thank you. Now, I could be all cool and like open it up and just try and put it over there, but I don't want to do that. I want to wait for this to... Um, <clears throat> Tom, you're out of stock for the, uh, the Solmax 2s. Give it just a second, Code. It'll be there in just a moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. You... You're so sneaky, Tom. <laughs> I'm funny too, Code. I'm funny too. <laughs> you are funny, Tom. Good job, GG. <laughs> Would you like to buy this Solmax O2L for eighty-six thousand five? Yes, yes, Tom. Yes, you don't have to repeat the same thing, Tom. I'm, I'm a regular customer. <laughs> quite true, sir. Quite true. All right, let's go. Right. Buenas noches. Adios. <laughs> Everybody in the comments is like, Code speaking another language. <laughs> it's Spanish. It's very good Spanish too. Um, hmm. I seem to have run out of room on this base. Um, I don't know if it will. You know what? Doesn't matter. Even if it does run into something, I can just change that later. We're going to put it on the very edge of the base, just like that. We're going to place this one just above it, and then we're going to have to reload. There we go. Just like that. <clears throat> so now, we're actually going to have to reload twice, but that's that's okay. Um, I need a small piece of wood. Here, this will work. Smooth wall. <laughs> That is not a small piece of wood code. I know, I know. It's fine, it'll be fine. Okay, right, oh, nope, just right there. You know what, that's good, that's good. Just remember that there's a, a one space gap. Well, actually, I won't be able to do it because the pictures are in the way, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload the base. I'm gonna move this sawmill first. Then I'm gonna take this sawmill and put it in its place. That way I have two sawmills at the same size but before I do we're gonna max this one and then this one is going to be maxed minus one like that so you guys um you always see the like 2.8 actually let's just go up to three there we go if we do three then it should be fine three and three that's what she had yesterday right so yeah it should be fine pink rider had had it the same way all right let's go and reload the base and i'll just stand right here that way i don't have to move or anything oops it's not the escape key and why is my chat on i'm in a private server by the way um let's go ahead and load 
first base. Load. Glorious. Glorious. <coughs> Doop -doo. I also noticed something else. My footsteps. I don't have any footstep sounds. I, I don't know if I just didn't notice them before or if they're not inside lumber, but the footstep, the footstep sounds are gone. I don't know where they went. Somebody took them. I've been scammed. Devaltio. Reload my footsteps. <coughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, by the way, I have been getting a lot of messages about stolen bases. <clears throat> I have also seen a video where somebody literally whitelists somebody else and the entire base gets grabbed. Like that. And it's so quick. Like, I want you guys to be very aware that if you whitelist somebody, they can take anything they want. They can move stuff off your base. They can steal from you. They, they can just, just entire thing gone. All right. I cannot stop that. I don't have any power inside Lumber Tycoon 2. I want to make that perfectly clear. I do not have power inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Yes, I'm friends with Defaultio. Yes, I've let him know about the problems. No, he's not going... Like, I'm not a pivot point. You guys can't send me a message and be like, Code, can you have Defaultio restore my base? I'm not going to pass that message to him. He gets tons of those messages every single day. All right? So, if you, if you want something like that, you need to message him directly, not come through me. And if your account on Roblox gets hacked, meaning somebody's taken the password or somebody's taken over the account, report it to Roblox. Don't send me a message. Don't send Defaultio a message. Go to Roblox and tell them, okay? my uh, I've had problems in the past just because of like the YouTube and the things that I do. And I've gone to Roblox and I've told them, like, this is who I am, this is my account, and everything else. And they made me verify. They're like, well, we need to send you an email to the person who's on the credit card statement of the blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, yeah, do it, do it. Send it, send it, come on. So, uh, by the way, that wasn't on my account. It was because of, ne never mind. Just, yeah. <laughs> report it to Roblox. Um, also, if somebody's doing something wrong inside one of the games, report them. All right? It's... It's what you're supposed to do. It's part of the terms and s terms of service. In fact, it, I think it's inside the terms of service that if you don't do something about it, like if, if something's happening and you don't, you're considered a participant in that activity. So. I don't know if that's a correct statement, but. Move. B. There we go. Okay. Got the bottom one moved. But just be aware, and yes, the Roblox reporting tool does work. It does it does report to Roblox. And um, it gets a copy of the chat that's going on. I don't know how much more detail it gets, but the servers themselves are pretty smart. I, oh, I also have um, ideas for doing anti-GUI scripts, which would be kind of cool. Um, for all of those of you who know about my, um, my, excuse me, my anti-hacker script, which is the anti-exploit script. All right, I, don't, I hate calling them exploits and hackers, but you guys all call them hackers. So, um, I'm call, I call them exploiters and I call them cheats because that's what you're doing. You're, you don't know what you're actually, like, hacking. All right. If you if you knew the programming behind it, the DLL, you went and created your program to inject something into the DLL or take over the DLL's threads, then I would call you a hacker because you actually went and did the research. You know what it's doing. There we go. Anyhow, um, where was I going with this? Um, the script itself is a local script that is ran on client side. So um, what makes this easy to detect, easy to stop, is the fact that it's on client side. Um, if you wanted to do something more sneaky or more secure, what you could do is have a server side script that places a local script on the avatar and then has it run through like the GUIs or the inventory or does, does its checks and balances like speed hacking, flying, stuff like that. Does all those things and then if it's found it reports back to the server and says, yeah, this, this person has it with their name. And the name of the script that you place on the person could be completely random. 
because the script itself is going to delete itself afterwards. So this local script would run through, do a check. If any of these hit, it would send it back the message saying, yeah, that person did it. And then uh, with its name, so you could verify. And then um, it would delete itself, and then you could kick or ban from that point. And then, like, if you're on the client side, this is coming from the hacker perspective. If I'm here and something gets injected onto my client, my character, my avatar, and runs before I can get to it, I don't really have any kind of, any kind of like anti-script that's going to stop that but then again at the same time there's a lot of um, exploits that are they're inserting GUIs on like the core GUI service which is some higher level stuff anyhow there was a thought that I had the other day if you're interested in that kind of thing which uh, I would assume that the majority of you are interested aren't you Maybe not. I'm interested in it, so. Whoa, lag. And I'm by myself. Big base. <clears throat> At one time or another, I was going to go through here and just like start giving away truckloads of uh, presents as like gifts and stuff. But I don't know. Then it, then it feels off. Because I. Like, everybody who gave me these gifts and all these presents and stuff, like, you gave that to me because you're a fan and you like my work. And because of love. So, I don't know. I don't feel right giving it away and I don't feel right selling it and I don't feel right just tossing it to the curb. But I don't know what to do with it. Because there's, there's a lot and I will never use this much. I mean, would I use 300 fire axes? Maybe eventually, but I mean, I don't know. Whoa, a <laughs> little bit of obby right there. All right. There it goes. What a mess. <clears throat> so if you guys don't know what um, modded wood is, it's those really long, really big pieces of wood. And I have done this before, and it, it's never worked for me. So the other day when it actually worked on um, Pink Rider's base... I was ecstatic. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So, even though this video, this kind of video, like this tutorial has been done multiple times, it's doing, it, I'm doing it in Code Primate style, style, where I'm just playing and talking and just hanging out instead of like being like, okay, step one, do this, step two, do this. Um, I didn't really show you like how to set it up. Um, so, glitch builds. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it real quick. If you place something down on your base, right, and then you reload your base, as the base is loading, if you click on it and select move and then cancel it, it will disappear, allowing you to place something else in its place. Like most rules of physics, matter can't exist in the same spot at the same time, but in lumber it can. So, uh, actually, I don't want to do anything yet. Let it load in. Right here, we actually have two sawmills. For the price of one. No, um, I actually paid for both of them. Uh, there's two sawmills in the exact same spot, exact same location. And what these should do is, as a tree or a tree limb goes in and registers, right? Both of them are going to start fighting over who gets the tree. And sometimes, both of them get the tree. So when it starts generating the tree on the back end, back here, both of them start spitting it out in the same space, which is why you get the, the really big mod wood. <clears throat> I wouldn't call it glitch wood. Glitch wood, I would call like a long plank that falls through the floor. That's, that would be glitch wood. Mod wood is not glitch wood. If you want to call it that. I mean, you, you might call it something else. The wiki might even call it something else. 
I don't pay attention too much. I just make up words for my own thing. Ooh. I really need to put up the rest of these walls as well. But that's also what I'm doing. I'm going to get uh, gold wood to test this on. So let's see. Turn on. Here, let's just stick that down there for, for the moment. Don't get distracted, code. Let's do this. All right, all right. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Zink. Jumping out. And move. B. And move. B. And move. B. Do 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 do. Uh, do 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 do. Do do do. Mm -hmm. I look so derpy just driving. <laughs> do do do. On my way to Lumberland. Do do do. <laughs> Alright. Stop. These gold trees are not very big, are they? Mm. One. Two. Three. I should have brought a. Oh, I don't have a gingerbread axe. <gasps> oh no. Okay, there's one. Drink. I hope this will work. That one's pretty tall. It's not too bad, right? Hmm. One. A two. A three. Oh, it's gonna take four. There we go. Oh, oh five. <laughs> Sneaky. That's what we need. We need a gold. A gold axe. Uh, I <laughs> get it, gold axe. No, um, we need an axe that will cut gold wood better. <laughs> um, for those of you that have played Lumber Tekken 2 and have been around for a while, you probably know about the golden axe anyway, so. Um, it is a real thing. It was removed from the game for, um, while because people found a way to get get a copy of the axe. It was a model of the axe, not the actual axe itself. Um, but the gold axe... Oh gosh, no! Stop! 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 <clears throat> the golden axe is a one-chop kills all trees. Like, uh, one, one chop chops down all trees. And that's only because it does like a thousand damage or something like that. Um, for those of you that didn't know, uh, Defaultio posted the formula that he used to calculate tree HP and the cut lines. Um, back when he was doing college, oh gosh, there were um, a, there is a notebook that he used. Um, there's a Twitter picture of it somewhere. Anyhow. It basically, it shows the formula how to calculate the health of one of the trees. Whee! Down we go. Alright. <laughs> Is that going to reach? Hmm. Okay, wait. I might need to... Uh Open the thing. Hold on. Ooh! I just got a message from Jack over at, uh, what is it, Games, um, da, 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 Magnum Developers. So, I need to talk to him here in a second. Now, where was it? I just saw it a second ago. Hold on, I was running around my base, and I saw a hatch. Can you guys see a hatch? Hold up. Where did I see that hatch at? Think, code. Think. Where were you? You were running around at the intro, right? Over here. There's no hatch over here, code. Oh. 
came over here. Then you're messing around for a second. Then you came back over here, kind of did this thing, and then we ended up towards the back. Was it back here? I had to have been back here somewhere. Because then I was talking about the presents. You guys are probably screaming at me in the comments. Go! Go to the other side of the base, dude! <clears throat> That's okay. I just don't see it right now. Maybe I'll see it in another one. Or maybe maybe it was this one. Was it this one? It could have been this one. You know what? We're just going to use this one instead. Um, let's see here. I need to go rotate. Rotate. Turn. 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 Like that. So it's upside down. And right there. Basically one unit away from the end. Okay? That's that's how far it's gonna be. And we're just gonna test this real quick. Take this one, drop it in. This should not mod. This should not be modded wood. This should just be normal wood. But we gotta make sure that it yeah, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, good. All right. So now, hmm, I don't think. Okay, take that off. Is that over here? We might have to take that one. All right, let's try it. There it goes. Oh dear. Dear, dear, dear. There we go. So now, lift. In you go. In you go. Please, please help me. It should be right there, right? Oh, come on. Am I going to have to chop off that piece too? Actually, here, let's just chop off this. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to jump right here, please. One more. One more. There we go. <clears throat> no, that's... That's it. Can I never get this to work? If you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know down in the description. Leave a comment. Say code. This is why it doesn't work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's right there. See? It should work. Come on. See if I press that one time. Oh, if I press, uh, oh gosh, if I press that one time, is that what's going on? Did I, did I need to do that first? 
Hmm. Why must it fail? <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, there's your problem. Get over there. Come on. Just do it. See, it never works for me. Hold on. Let's try chopping off this limb right here. Although the oak tree was completely, or the the elm tree was completely together when he, when, okay, let's do this. Let's turn that. I've never, I've never thought it would. <sighs> Come on. Come on, code. Do it. Do it. All right, let's take that out. <clears throat> Maybe. Now she did it from a limb, right? She from the, the opposite end. Let's try it from the trunk. Maybe, maybe that's what happened. Maybe. Come on. Get that one out of here. It's a, it's a it's a broken log. That's what it is. It's it's uh, it's broken. This is going to be the second video in a row of me failing at lumber. <gasps> Have I lost my touch? Code has lost the lumber touch. Come on, there it goes. Get in there. That is definitely, definitely not gonna work. I don't even see it through there. If I just chop it right there, then I mean, it's the same as a normal. Thing, right? So golden trees are out. Let's go find. I just realized uh, my black truck is gone. Oh no, it's it's up there. Here, let's go do an oak tree or a uh, elm tree. Yeah, elm. Do 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 do. Elm tree. Elm tree. How far are we? Oh, we're at, we're at 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in 30. Do, 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 do. Well, <clears throat> we know that it works because she was able to do it on her base and I just can't do it. That's, that's all. So, let's try again. Throw.
<laughs> okay. Why are you not throwing correctly? Not even able to throw it right. It's just flipping it over. <clears throat> Maybe I need lag? Some extra lag for uh, the script to work? Or maybe the tree is just not big enough. Maybe the tree is just not big enough. That could also be the problem. Right, let's go ahead and park the car over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't take me along with you. Oh, da 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 I could have sworn I've attempted this before as well. Yoink. There we go. Maybe it's because we're going uphill. fell. Zink. Zink. What is that up there? Oak tree. Oak tree. It's just an oak. Just an oak. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Get back over there. Blink. There we go. Now, for the main event. Oh, I couldn't have done that any better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we're going to need it closer to the ground so it's level getting in there. We're going to take this limb out, we're going to take this limb out, and that limb over there. And that one right there. We're going to just do both of those. There we go. Nice and level. Yes, should be able to reach all the way in there. And let's go. Can I pick up the whole thing? I cannot. Okay. Got it kind of spun around there. Oh, oh. Come on. Go on in. Go on. All right. Take this one out. Should allow it to twist just slightly. That should go in. <gasps> no, no, stop, stop, stop. Ugh. Okay. There we are. Now, lift. Come on. Really? Dude, I see it. It's right there. Come on through. It's right there. Why are you not working? Just too short, isn't it? Oh, it's trying. It really is. It's like I want to code, but I'm not. All right, we're going to strike this one off right here. Mm. Hold on. Oh no, no, hit that. Okay, I had a tickle. 
I was about to sneeze at everybody. I wanted to mute my microphone before I did. Make a silly face by myself. Okay. If anybody knows why this is not working, please leave a comment down below explaining what I'm doing wrong. Because I don't know. I'm lost. I am a lost code in Lumberland. Usually hanging out with Blobby890. Actually, me and Blobby haven't hung out in a while. Hmm. Blobby, come back! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, that's the, that's the video. I've gone six minutes over the time that I originally intended to. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tech Into with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I create the mod saw and epically failed it. Anyhow, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call at the end. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we will talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.